NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden visited the agency's Dryden Flight Research Center on May 22nd, where he flew approach and landing simulations of Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser spacecraft. A test vehicle of the company's spacecraft recently arrived at Dryden for a series of tests, culminating with a free flight demonstration later this year. Ultimately, it's going to be commercial uh, capability getting us to low Earth orbit. Uh, that, is, that is the way we're going to gain access to space and low Earth orbit. Sierra Nevada Corporation is working with NASA's commercial crew program to make human spaceflight services available for government and commercial customers. It may look like a mini version of NASA's long admired fleet of space shuttles, but Sierra Nevada Corporation's agency partner manager says Dream Chaser is more than just a silhouette of America's historical crew transportation system. Well, there's a lot of unique features about um, Dream Chaser. It's got the lifting body, uh, which means it has a, a bigger cross range, which means it can land on a runway. Um, also, it comes down at lower G's, um, so it's a smoother ride. Um, and it also has the green propellant technology, which makes it safer for, re for processing on the ground and uh, for turning around for additional flights. Advances made to Dream Chaser as it's prepared to launch atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V during NASA's Commercial Crew Integrated Capability Initiative, or CCICAP, could give it the edge it needs to begin transporting humans to and from low Earth orbit around 2017. In some ways, CCICAP is a continuation of CCDEV2. It's just going to advance their crew transportation system farther. So they made it to a preliminary design review, Sierra Nevada did, during CCDEV2. And during CCICAP, they hope to make it to the critical design review, which means they're basically ready to start going into manufacturing of the space vehicle. The work the company puts into testing its hardware and showcasing how it would operate and manage missions from launch through orbit and landing will set the stage for a crewed orbital demonstration mission around the middle of the decade. Jack Fisher was one of four NASA astronauts to fly simulated landings of the Dream Chaser spacecraft at the Langley Research Center. The three-day simulations in a mock-up cockpit gave astronauts a feel for how the Sierra Nevada Corporation's winged vehicle will handle from the moment it enters Earth's atmosphere through a runway landing. Sierra Nevada Corporation is working with NASA's commercial crew program to refine the design of the Dream Chaser for future missions to low Earth orbit. humans we all want to explore so as a planet we want to explore it doesn't really matter what country you're from but we as Americans have always been one to stand up and say we want to be the leaders of our efforts we want to be the leaders of our exploration I think it is extremely important that the US once again regain its supremacy in space not from a lord it over everybody but just from a we have the capability and it is something we should not give up. It's incredibly important both strategically and tactically for the United States to have domestic crew launch capability. The importance of launching an American flag right here from U.S. soil is critically important for uh, this industry, for uh, the space program. Space is the next frontier, and so we need to be providing our knowledge and experience going forward, and we need to be leveraging our industry base and skills to do so. I think this program has been a, a, a great step by NASA uh, to make sure three great partners in industry can uh, develop the commercial crew program. It's to be seen what future markets will uh, come from that. And I think you're going to see 
a lot of movement in the coming years as, as we get closer to, to fielding hardware and flying. Uh, you see a lot more energy and excitement uh, from other potential, uh, potential customers. Someone's going to be a leader. The United States would like to be that leader.